go through here. The uh, rear, main body, front tires, the steering, and the tow bar, or handle. two of these carts already we've had for a number of years and when they break down they break down and it's time to replace the whole cart which is less expensive than trying to get them repaired I got two of these new ones this is number one of the two Looks like these tires only take 25 pounds on each on each one. Let's see if we can get a 30 pounds maximum. Maximum is 30. All I gotta say is if you order one of these carts, you take your chances whether you're going to get all of the parts that you need, like the washers for the wheels, like I did. I just got back from a big box store, Lowe's out here in, in uh, SoCal, and they didn't have it because the uh, thinness of the washer, the metal washer, is very thin. It's on, uh, not normally that thin, but these rubber, colored things that I got as an impulse item on the way out of the store for 99 cents for three of them. Hey, it works. Okay. That's my trials and tribulations. Fun times again. would be the sides that I'm not going to use. front end where the tow bar hooks up here. These are the axles where the wheels go on. Not all the parts listed in the little paper manual came with this. I suggest there's probably multiple versions of the same model number. 
So you improvise to make it work. Like when you thought you had the right tool for the job and you don't, improvise. No one else is going to do it for you. There's where the tow bar goes. Okay. The front part's done. For this part, let's see what else. Okay, now to the back axle. If I wanted to run down to the store and get a deep set socket for this metric nut, I could do it. But I got a 10 inch locking vice grip. That's slow, but it'll work. And they're down for the count. Okay. Apparently, I didn't need all those other washers that were listed. They listed like 11 different washers. Didn't need them. It was basically the front and the back, and then the, the drop down sides to the wagon, which I never use because we haul hay on these wagons, and they're already in a bale. It's a bale of hay, it's not loose, loose hay. Finally got cut. What about this guy? Like I said, I have two of these cars that we've used for years. And they're good for I think about 450 pounds of load um, bale of hay out here west coast is between 100 and 120 pounds usually put two bales on so we still have a little leeway on weight distribution Goats don't care, just as long as you make the, the journey to their location, we're happy. There, that's solid. 
Gee, now what am I forgetting? Probably wheels and the and the tow bar in the front. I need to go gather up a a tool for the Carter pins, Carter keys. Okay, let's get started. It's tire time. Okay. I just read the, the uh, maximum pressure on these wheels will support. Maximum load, 376 pounds. And yeah, multiply that by four, and that's your overall weight-bearing load. And maximum inflate, 30 PSI. This is a four-ply rated tire. Its size is 13 by 5.00-6. And obviously not for highway service. Valve stem. Obviously would go on the outside so it's easy to get to. You know what I do need? I have some more washers for that. And it didn't come with enough washers. Since the cart was shipped with these thin washers missing, and I just went to a big box store to see if I can get a replacement. I couldn't because of a thinness. On my way out of the big box store, I looked at these little neon plastic key ID bands. And they're not that thick and, and they compress a little bit. So I'm going to try those in lieu of this thin washer. Too much of a hassle to pack everything up and send it back, the cart that is, because it's missing three washers. But it's a non-standard washer. It's 5 8 inch, which matches the diameter of the axle. And the thick one would work, except I don't have much room to work down here in order to get to the hole for the quarter key pin to go into. So we'll give it a try and see what happens. The quarter key here will do most of the work. <laughs> yeah, sometimes MacIver has to MacIver it. Ah, close enough for ranch work. Okay, I think we're finished. I'm gonna turn it over and see what it looks like.
see how it rolls with some hay in it. Not. <laughs> Not me. Thanks for watching, and if you like, subscribe, and click the big thumbs up.